I think part of why it's so distracting is that there's a there's actually video compression the uh, where the normal the normal gameplay looks better than the cutscenes do, but also the cutscenes are like all super dark and yellow while where the main gameplay is actually like really evenly lit as you can see so far, so it kind of looks like I'm being teleported into a Zack Snyder film whenever the uh, cutscenes are t it's time to have have happen. So I can pick up the boxes. Got to resist my, my got to resist my instinct to think that I can loot these when they're just things I can move around. Oops. According to the tutorial video, you can use some of these as cover. But for the most part, this is just a big open area. Let's get started. Howdy, folks. Jesus, finally. What's your boss hiding in that plant that's worth putting your own people's lives at stake, huh? Um, good question. You ready to go in? Good. Seen a few of them coming out for a smoke every now and again, so be careful. Okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm going to die here. Okay, there's a few pieces of the controls I'm gonna, that are going to take a few attempts for me to figure out a little bit. I might, I might stop and remap them at some point. We'll see. Hi. I assume bad guy, and not good guy. Right. Should I just like get ready to shoot him in the face? That did not work. Those these guys are on my team, aren't they? Yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI security. Name's Jensen. Jensen. Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I got to say you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React team plan? We got Alpha's point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers? The sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your IntelliCams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well. Someone inside must be tech-savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycled military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You know more about that than I would. Anything else? I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. If you don't get a signal, then well, I guess today will be Sans Seraph. About fucking time. You know there are hostages in there, right? A little time you got here. This door will take you to another roof overlooking the loading docks. Best way in. Now hurry. That's the only option, I assume. Bunch of lockers with ooh drugs. Mine. You're welcome, me. Uh, let's do a quick pause. Nope. Not the start menu. Pause. Uh, select menu brings up my. 
Mission log, we're securing Seraph's manufacturing plant. Main objective, enter the manufacturing plant. Secondary objective, rescue the hostages, as you'd expect. Got an inventory with a stun gun. Eight darts, one of which I spent already, sweet. Augments, we have zero... We're calling them praxis, apparently, is the upgrade for them. I started off with one point into radar system, two infolink, one hacking, two capture. Health systems maxed out. Energy converter is two out of seven. What do these things mean? Oh, there's trees within them, too. So one of these will give you two cells, the other one will recharge depleted cells. There's a few different things going on here. So I can take somebody down with a melee attack here. There's a few things going on. I have an eye prosthetic. Automatic. It all does is display the HUD, so that's just basic gameplay stuff, but uh, but having a, a in-universe explanation. Infolink's fully maxed out. Cochlear implants. Receive communications without fearing, fear of being overheard, and uh, communicate without being being heard. No big deal. That kind of stuff. It's basically just giving me an explanation for all the different abilities he starts off with that are technically augmentation, so they're technically listed here, but they're not really RPG upgrade things because in the in the cases of the ones I already have, that's just what what, what I got as a result of the uh, as a result of the accident. There's our helipad. We have a forward direction and not much information past that, and that's pretty much what we're at right now. Don't have any points to spend. Always check doors. You never know. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Might be the thing to go to do because I think this is just going to take me straight to the uh, the front of their building. So let's stick to the roof and see where that takes us. These do seem to be somewhat open environments. I don't think I can climb this at all. Ah, uh, nope. This might be a dead end too. Exploring did not amount to much. Oh no! I've gotta save the box. Go, be free, away from the fire. You deserve to live. They they gave their lives for you. Something, something, something. <laughs> Alright. I saw a fork when there was none. So now we're going this way. Ta they're warning me about guards. I get the concept yeah, of guards. Hi. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anyone. Is he going to patrol around at all? Sneaky, sneaky. Keep an eye out. Yep, he's peeking. No peeking. Shame on you. There we go. The most effective assassin is the one where no one knows knows you were ever there. How far is he gonna go? He's gonna turn around, right? Come on over, buddy. Do I have a knock command to make some noise? That's too much, though. Oh, is he stopping to smoke? Dare I get impatient here? And then he never suspected a thing. Ooh. What have we here? Is there anywhere to actually go in here? Or is this a dead end? I can go up here, I think. Oh yeah. This goes somewhere for sure. Nailed it. Ooh. Where does this lead? Yep, two of them over there. Did they just see something? Oh yeah, they saw me. Well, they saw something, and they don't know what it was. Did they crouch down? That would be a surprise for an NPC to have them actually crow crawling through the duck. I have to know. Oh yeah, he's off. They said the jet would give me the jitters. There was two of them, right? There's two right there. Okay. My goal is that doorway. Getting there without getting spotted will be interesting. 
Aha. I'm tracking you. The funny thing is, in real life, he'd pretty... Uh, does, maybe not right now, but some of this movement I've been doing, he would totally see me. But video games are very forgiving about how detection works. Now the new problem is this guy. We can wait a moment. Elsewhere. Do it. Do it. Come on, this car's not that interesting. There we go. <laughs> no one's looking over here now. Oh. No one's stashed around there. Good to go. Is he coming back? Not yet. Woohoo! Smooth. I'm in. The door worked just fine. I'm happy for you. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. He's a sassy little bastard, isn't he? Alright, so far, not spotting a lot of bad guys. There's a few in front of me. Oh yeah, we could probably get something done over here. An e-book. Resist the machine. Like, Rage Against the Machine? We are purity first. Reject the metal. Embrace yourself. Lies are made of steel. The truth is flesh and blood. Are you tired of seeing half-human cyborgs taking jobs and opportunities from good people? Are you sick of cogs who mutilate and debase themselves? We believe that understanding human choice is impossible without first experiencing the, humans, but the human body's limitations. Physical limitation are what makes us human. We should not strive to be anything else. Attempting to improve the human condition through biological modification only diverts attention and resources from social solutions that could do the same without changing the fundamental nature of people. We believe that any deliberate attempt to change the human body is ethically and morally wrong. Purity first cannot be smashed. It cannot be effectively infiltrated. It cannot be stopped. You, each and every one of you, are purity first. Alright, so anti-mech people, and I'm in the complicated position of being an involuntarily me mechanized person, or whatever we want to- Ooh, this thing's changing on its own, that's freaky. So it's it's like a pamphlet, but the uh, papers change out. Like It must be like the, the Pikus Daily Standard. I assume that this is like the future newspaper. You get a little tablet that's like a subscription service to a specific service, and then it just has this, up, this constantly updating web page. Yeah, it's like a... it'd be like a tablet that it's dedicated to one specific website, basically. Which is kind of a handy thing to just have on a shelf. If you are into, still under the idea of holding something in your hands that you read. Of course, website search could still just be used as websites. Can the Motor City rise again? Perhaps more than any other place, Detroit embodies the change America has undergone over the past two decades. Devastated first by the demise of the auto industry and then by the global oil crash of 2015, this former heart of American enterprise has lost many of its once proud neighbors to decay, poverty, and crime. Still, there is hope. In 2007, augmentation developer Serif Industries made Detroit its corporate headquarters, converting a defunct automotive plant into a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. David Serif, CEO of the firm, adamantly believes Detroit can become a beacon city where capital investment and urban renewal set a standard for the whole country. Serif says human enhancement technology will lead mankind, uh, humankind to a brighter future and Detroit with it. Can you scroll? Nope, that... No more of that particular article, at least. No other controls. It's funny, because 2015 was the future when this game came out, but now is the past. Although, in, in both cases, they're confined by the timeline of their pre-existing game, because I believe this game is a prequel to the first Deus Ex. Which I have not played. From Joseph Smith to Philip Mancuso, a line down. Phil, we've got more problems with the line on the ninth floor. The rig is down, and we need someone to look, take a look ASAP. I don't want to be the one to hold up production. It'll be my head on the block if it isn't fixed yesterday. Smitty. Supply, uh, the same people again? This one's from Troy Kellerman. So this is Philip's computer. Uh, supplies needed ASAP. This is news to me. It should have been Moody. I'll talk to him later. I'll send a guy over to the, to, uh, now with the chopper. Uh, should be half an hour max. Somebody says they, uh, Troy, they said, Troy, we need your copper wire stat. Don't know where the guy was this morning, but never got the shipment. To all staff. This one might be interesting. Can I 
Get over there. Oh, the trigger's scroll now. Oh, there's no there's nothing below it though. Uh from Athene Marguli. Hello all. Management realizes that you have all been working long hours in the drive to fulfill recent military contracts. We recognize your increased efforts and thank you for your un uh, unswerving dedication to getting the job done efficiently and with pride. The current increase in workload will last only two more weeks. On behalf of Seraph Industries, we thank you for your patience and dedication. They've been pulling overtime lately, and now they're all going to die. I don't know, maybe. Obviously, things have not been going great around here. Hey! Combat rifle ammo, revival re revolver ammo. I said revival ammo. Yeah, good old revival ammo. You know that type of gun? The revival? The reviver? Of revivalization? I should not have gone all the way up the staircase. L ladder, I mean. Should have paused at the last second to peek to see if there's anyone around. I am up here now. You will never see me. I hope he doesn't hear this. I heard that! <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. I hope he doesn't hear this. I heard that! Um... Where would I go next? Does he know how to get here? Wasting my time. No one's here. Okay, cool. He hasn't. He's he's bored now. Good old AI of getting bored. There's two of them over there. Nope. None past that direction. So if I, if they, if I get them to look away, we can go. I think I might look up here. So let's back up a second. Um. I'm a little curious. That guy's currently distracted. Can I climb higher? Probably not. Hey, where would I want to go from here? That guy's the big concern. I'm gonna want to silently go past that guy and go down the, that ramp. Oop! He's turning around. Oh, just getting distracted. Don't mind me. It was nice knowing you, and that it was nice to never know you. Bye. <laughs> That's a good start. Unless this doesn't go anywhere. It's the exit. It's probably not very useful for me, is it? Oop. Hi. Buddy old pal. At the moment, they're not looking this way. You reporters, make sure you get all of this. Tell the world. I think I just got away with that. Yep, they're distracted by the fire and the reporters and everything. Dude likes to stand really close to fire. This is a crowded goddamn building. I don't know if you guys are noticing that. There's a lot of guards in here, so my goal is to go over there. All those guys are clearly in the way. Now they're splitting up. That's good news for me. Oop. Fuck me. No one heard that. No one heard that. No one heard that. That my goal in that room? Woohoo! Hopefully that guy doesn't wake up too soon. Because I get the feeling he might. Just gonna watch out. That, that apparently doesn't make noise. Or at least the guy just doesn't notice it. He's looking this way though. Yeah, that's something to be concerned about. Oh. He's wandering around a bit. Woo hoo hoo, I'm a ninja! I don't know what was that. You should check it out. Which way is it going? They call me the distractor. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Thank you, locker noise. I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. 
But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. Welcome to Tutorial Land. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries, so you can access the security codes within. To do it, you must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. To capture a node, simply place the cursor over it and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll be okay. Okay. I got all of that. I did not get all that. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. Hacking time. I'll be good at this. Just gotta learn by doing, right? Right. Right. Don't judge me. Um... We can fortify this to counter-hack when they're coming my way. This will have me... 60% chance of detection, damn, alright. Is that a shot? Success-ish, not really. Fortify that crap, alright. That was quick. Uh, credentials decrypted, device unlocked. So the red spot's the evil... Uh, st the, the starting point of the opponent. And you want to block them from stopping you from getting to your objective. More or less. Oh. Is that a bad sound? I feel like I should be worried about this. Oh well, we'll find out. Where are you guys? None of them right away. Ooh, that is a crowded room down there. Is that loot? That is loot. Like an ammo box. My goal is... Off. You killed him, man! He asked for it. He kept calling me a biggie. No way! No way! I am not going to prison for this! Hate to tell you this, Trev, but once that bomb goes off, this guy won't be the last skinner in here who buys it. Shut up, J-Ro. Trevor, you gotta calm down. Help me find something to cover him up with. I'm telling you, man. These hands of lovers deserve what's coming to him. He says he's not going to jail for this. What the hell do you think was going to happen if they got caught? They're freaking breaking into a place with masks and guns and taking a whole place out. Like, that's... That was... I, I mean, I, I, I guess it's redundant to call them ignorant because they're, like, attacking people for having augments on them. But, uh... That is a special of, of ignorance to think that you're not gonna, you're gonna get away with this. There, this is a crowded room. Okay. I see my opening and I'm taking it. Fuck you guys. Haha. -ha. Sneaky, sneaky. Close the door. How do I close the door? It's, it's fine. It's fine. After guards, security systems will be your prime area of concern, as they will trigger alarms that bring about heightened security. Trying to destroy these devices is a bad idea. Try instead to get around them. By timing your moves properly, you should be able to do so relatively easily. If an alarm does sound, guards will start looking for you. Fortunately, they won't sustain this level of alertness for long. Eventually, they will believe you fled the area, and the alarm level will drop. Oh wow, yeah, this game is very... very much a stealth game, all the way to the point of having like Metal Gear Solid style... Uh, oh, the door closed for me, there we go. Metal Gear Solid style uh, detection levels, and every almost every tutorial that pops up is about hacking or oop. Or about getting past the security system. Let's see. So there's a sensor over there and a guard down there. I don't know what... Shit. Is he coming? It did turn yellow instead of red. Does that mean that I'm safe? I thought it turned red in the tutorial. 
I don't see anyone on the map currently coming this way. So I think we're in the clear. Just gotta be more careful about my timing this time. Cause I wanna- I think I wanna go in that door? Yeah. Or past that door. Going in the door is probably still helpful either way. Wait for it to turn away. Coming in here Fuck to dig me. up shit is one thing, hostage. but to take innocent people hostage? Keep it down, man. No one's taking anyone hostage. So why do we lock them workers up in assembly room one? The second time the to biotechnology firm has been attacked. Let's just wait for the first time, six All I'm months ago, is I ain't on the eve of controversial hearings set me. to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, oh, many are that? now wondering if something nothing. else may be going on. Is David Seraph hiding something? That's bad for me. For tonight, oh well. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. You heard nothing, other guy, right? Cool. Yeah, going in this room was a mistake, like in general. This is what you call a guard bay, as far as stealth games go. In that, like, that's just the place where all the guards are pooled so that they come out if you trip the security. And I walked straight through it. So that was a mistake. Stick to the hallways in that situation. Uh, hacking time. Um, there's the starting point. And if I get found, we're in trouble. And is that my, is my goal to get all the way to there? That's a hell of a way to go without detection. Okay. And I can only go in one of these two directions, so it seems like I'd want to go... Ooh. These arrows go down, too. So I'd want to go around like this to get there, because this arrow is one... That's one direction, one, that's one directional. Alright. Not a lot of choice, then. And I have no special resource, so I kind of just have to hack away and see what happens. I could fortify something, I guess. There we go. Wait, they- oh, he can go this way too, huh? Interesting. Uh, uh-oh. I can't play with that, really. Can't fortify? Where do I go from here? It's mine. No, I want it. Uh, do I hack past stuff? Oh, I can just keep going. Never mind. For some reason, I thought I had. For, for some reason, I thought I had to stop if I hit a red, but I can just hack right past them and it's no big deal. Interesting. There's a few quirks to figure out. I'll figure it out, though. How are we doing on leveling, by the way? Not yet. We're, we're working on it. We have over a thousand so far, I believe. Boop! You freak me out with that, but I think it's just constantly alarming over there. This would be a, This is just gonna be a playthrough of a very short Adam Jensen, because I'm just constantly crouched. There's one guy there. Anyone looking my way? According to the map, those are the only two guards are the ones right here. Yeah, it feels weird to leave him alone. Like, what's he looking for? Proof that these fuckers are lying to us, I guess. Just like Zeke said. I hope Zeke knows what he's doing. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah, you gotta w almost gotta wait for them to finish talking just so that they can start stealthing because you don't know where they're gonna go. Uh, they had no reaction to the giant window in the room shattering. <laughs> You'd think that'd be a bit of a... just a little startling when, like, a wall kind of explodes. Oh, that's a hologram screen. Hey, what was that guy shooting at? He just being a dick? Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, let me just sneak in here. That was nothing. You saw nothing. You've never been less alarmed in your entire life. You better come out. You're blown away by how totally not alarmed you are right now. <laughs> Alright, bye. I've almost nailed it so far, except for the time I really fucked up. Out of here. Alright. This would be a good time to have, like, a Krogan. Or a canary, hang out in this elevator, have a nice swell conversation. Hi. Oh, we got a Praxis. So that's how you level up. Like you just pick them up, apparently, off the ground, and then you stick them in your body. Mm. That's not creepy at all, right? I guess I should figure out what these things do. Like I can upgrade my legs, for example. Jump enhancement costs zero. Why would I not have that then? Maybe I need to unlock it through a story? Jump up to three feet. Or three meters, that's nine feet. Uh, faster sprint. Run and walk silently. Ooh. Activation's manual. Interesting. 
I don't seem to be able to, to do anything here. I don't think I can actually spend Praxis outside of... I probably have to spend it between missions. In order to unlock new abilities or augmentations, you must first gain experience in the form of XP points. You will receive these points when completing main objectives, side quests, or through special bonuses, like completing a mission without being detected. Once you've accumulated enough XP points, you will receive a Praxis point. These points are used to unlock upgrades to existing augmentations, and to unlock entirely new augmentations. Praxis kits, which can be found through exploration or purchased in limb clinics, will also give you instant Praxis points. To unlock an augmentation or upgrade, simply select it in the augmentation screen, check the cost, and, if you have enough Praxis points, activate it. Relatively intuitive. Let's double check something. I might have been pressing the wrong button altogether. Oh, I have to buy the first rank. I'm silly. So right now the legs, legs are not... You need prosthesis legs. Uh, you just start them on, basically, and that's it. Okay, but the activation cost cost me two. So I can't activate that then. I was skipping a step on accident. It was my mistake. So this, a reflex booster. Take down multiple opponents. Ooh. Interesting. It has an activation of two, though. So it looks like upgrading stuff that you don't already have access to, uh... ...costs you more points to get them started. Can't increase my health. Hack it. We can do all sorts of things about capture. Hack level two terminals. Disable turrets linked to the security hubs or turn them against their allies. That sounds nice. Let's grab that. I want to be able to take over turrets. Yeah, having the right hacking opportunities could really change the uh, landscape for me. As I go through this different situation. Speaking of which... Some of the obstacles that can be circumvented by hacking include turrets, cameras, and robots. All you need to do is find a security hub controlling these obstacles and hack it. Capture and Fortify programs are your main hacking tools. You can upgrade their ratings via hacking augmentations. A node's rating affects the speed at which the network can process it. Therefore, higher rated nodes will slow the network down. You can slow it down further by fortifying nodes, which will increase their effective rating. You can also use a slow worm to stop the trace process entirely for a few seconds. Finally, to prevent detection when taking over nodes, you can use the Nuke virus, which gives you a 0% detection chance. The Nuke and Stop programs are expendable viruses. Their supplies are limited, so use them wisely. A counter in the top right corner of the screen helps you keep track of them. When hacking, there are three types of nodes to capture. Directories are meaningless data holders. They serve no purpose other than to allow you to travel to your destination. APIs are system functions that can be used against the network. They can slow it down by spamming it, or they can lower node ratings to make them easier for you to capture. Data stores contain valuable information that can result in money, programs, or even experience points. Any reward you find on the system will only be yours if you succeed in hacking it. Otherwise, rewards cannot be downloaded and will remain on the system. Aside from cameras and doors, you will not be able to shut down any security device until you get the right augmentation upgrade. Well, I get the feeling we might get to test that turret hacking ability uh, sooner than expected.